Welcome back to Let's Play Ukulele, Burning Dog fans. We're back in the Icy Metric Palace. That is not the right button. Oh. Hey, I did a thing! Just now starting to fear I'd reach that part of the platformer. Take that. Excellent. So, I was playing Monster Hunter World last night. I mentioned this because I kid you not, when I climbed up here and I saw this big old skeleton, it's a giant man, by the way, or woman, you know, I certainly can't tell. Uh, my first instinct was to walk up to the rib cage and search the bone pile for valuable crafting materials. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something here. All of these rooms seem to have a jump in them. It's just, oh. Oh, well, that's just cheating. Pardon me. It's just too high to uh, reach, even with the tail thing. Like, is there a tonic that makes the uh, the jump better? Is that what I'm missing? We have to buy the new and improved version of the move. A jellyfish. Uh oh. I don't think he enjoyed that very much. Oh shit, what do I do now? Hmm, I can't get either of the doors as the truck. What am I gonna do now? Eh, lacking any other better idea, I'm gonna try swimming in there. Still don't have any attacks underwater, and I don't like that. Yes, you're the pirate. I have not yet found the pirate hat.
I mean, I'm assuming it's a pirate hat. For all I know, it's a big old strap-on he puts on his forehead. I'm up here now. Might have just stopped right there. It's locked anyway. No, I have a pretty good feeling that that's going to unlock when I get over there. Like, getting over there in the first place is doing the thing. Don't stick your hand in that. Feels like I can't get far enough. Oh, great. Chameleons are cold blooded, you know. I'm getting cold just looking at this place. moves, right? Yes. Quietly worrying ever since I started this game. Uh, I've been really enjoying myself, and I keep worrying that, uh, when I least suspect it, you know, the honeymoon period will be over, and I'll find out why everyone hates this game so much. I guess people don't really hate this game. Although the other day, I uh, was looking at one of my own videos on YouTube, or at least the page for it, look at the comments, and uh, one of the recommended videos off to the side, you know, proving that the algorithm knows fucking nothing, was uh, a video some Yabo posted with the name Ukulele was a failure in every conceivable way, and here's why. Now, I'm pretty sure that guy is full of shit. But, you know. Oh. 
Hey, look, there's a pagey up there. Who'd have thunk? Well, that makes me feel better. I wonder if there's anywhere else we can go. Sorry about that. But I am determined. I will find my way through this. Piss drink. Good thing these things are so analog. How the fuck am I meant to get that all the way over there? My leg. Reptile with big fangs and who is obsessed with crystals. I have no idea what that is a reference to. Because that's almost certainly a reference to something, right? Yeah. Take that public property. Property. I guess I should probably head back in, but... Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe the, uh, the palace is just a really shit part. I mean, it's not unheard of. Everyone hates the, uh, the Sandbird level from Super Mario Sunshine. And that game is generally regarded to be pretty good. Sometimes I like looking, I like going over the footage for this game because I get to appreciate all the animations and stuff. Like I'm very rarely looking directly at Yuka and Laylee when I'm playing. I like how flappy Laylee's ears are, and she does that rolly move in the corner, for example. How's my health? I don't know, I'm miraculously healed. I'm gonna be honest, that was the big reason I came back. But what the hell, I won't give up. I'm sorry, you seem to have mistaken me for somebody who gives a shit about you. So 
So I figure I get a pagey when I get all the snowdrifts and hand all the hats back. Thank you for dying. But, um... Normally the game spells that shit out, you know? The first snowman you talk to, hey, if you find all my buddies their hats, I'll give you a pagey. Blem. I like how the ice physics stop the second you go into the air. Stupid palace, I don't like you and you don't like me, but let's get this done. And of course I can't do that in midair, what was I thinking? I have to imagine yeah. that it's possible to beat every level with the stuff you get in that yeah. level. Like, I don't feel like this is the kind of situation where I have to go to level 3 in order to get a move and then come back here to just to reach the end. I feel like you should be able to finish exploring the level and uh, get all the way to the boss just based on the stuff you have when you get there and the stuff you can acquire while you're there. This is what makes sense to me. And yet... Ah, I didn't kick in the flying thing. of a bitch. I see what to do now. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, that was good timing. Kiss my lizard ass. This seems important. can do this. No. Why is making fireworks noises? That was a dick move. Ha! 
Shame I can't take on the properties of acid. You did that on purpose, didn't you, magic flying robot platform? Okay, that went pretty well. Hmm. Okay, it looks like I could turn that into a bonfire. I don't see anything I need to put out, though. Except for the bonfire I would presumably create. What do you say? Nothing. You were just a panel. Oh, no, you're real. Never be cold again with Adam Ferguson heating. Oh, you know what? I wonder if these are, uh... Like Kickstarter backers. Like, I've heard of some games that do that, you know, donate at least this amount of money and you get your name in the game. Like, uh, I'm a backer for the, uh, you know, the full uh, remake of the original System Shock, for example. And I didn't donate to this level, but one of the levels in that was, uh, you know, they're all named after entities in the game, like the Cyborg level, the, uh... You know, the mutant level, stuff like that. One of them was the dead body level. <laughs> and, uh, if you donated to that, then when the game finally comes out, uh, one of the searchable, you know, lootable dead bodies you can find just lying around in the game will have your name associated with it. Like, you'll find an ID chip saying this was so-and-so. <laughs> no. Okay, that happened. One of that was. No. Get up, man. And woman. No. Okay, there's no reason to have that on fire, then. Oh, I see. No, just go straight back, I forgot. Uh... Back. Oh, 
No. God damn it. No, I did that. Why do I always do that one in the wrong order? Oh, I'm terrible. Hearts. Fuck me. I messed up on the timing for this episode. So here's an outro. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ukulele. Later! <laughs>